So let's break down our myosthenias. What am I saying? Our multiple sclerosis. So we know that multiple sclerosis comes from our central nervous system, our brain and spinal cord. Those are the two components of your central nervous system. Now, when you guys are thinking about multiple sclerosis, I want you to think myelin sheath. So MS and MS. Myelin sheath and MS. They put, pretty much have the, bet, the, the same uh, acronym there, okay? So myelin sheath and MS right there. Boom, 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 boom. Now, in MS, you have your body attacking your actual myelin sheath in your brain and spinal cord. So, your body, and this is what's called a autoimmune deficiency. Your body's attacking itself. So, these myelin sheaths help to move action potential along. Action potential, fancy words for electrical impulses. Like that. So, if we don't have this myelin sheath to move that electricity along, then we don't have movement, we don't have function, we don't have range of motion, okay? Things stop working. So in MS, we have a degradation of these myelin sheets, kind of like this. Where your, your own body, the patient's own body, is attacking these myelin sheets. Now this usually happens with 20 to 30 year olds, young people. The body has an autoimmune response and starts attacking itself. So we diagnose this by taking a look at your brain stem and your, uh, um, your spinal cord. So we can do a CT scan that shows plaque on your actual neurons themselves. And you can basically, it shows plaque on the um, brain and spinal cord of your central nervous system. And let's see here. Um, we can do a lumbar puncture, which is a lumbar spinal puncture. Your patient rolls over in a little ball and we puncture the back to bring out some um, central, what am I saying? Cerebral spinal fluid, CSF. And the CSF is tested for gammy globulins, which is just immunoglobulins. We want to see if the body's making an immune response and degrading this myelin sheath. So we're looking for plaque in a um, CT scan, and we're looking for immunoglobulins in the cerebral spinal fluid that is causing this immune response that's breaking down our neurons our myelin sheets. Now, some signs and symptoms to watch out for in your patients. Your patient, just think about it, your patient's not going to have myelin sheath right now. So, the amount of transfer of energy, these electrical impulses that are usually happening, are going to be slowed. They're going to be um, slowed, right? <laughs> So we're going to get very, your patient's going to get very fatigued. They're going to feel numbness. They're not going to be able to feel the dexterity. Um, they're going to have alter sensations. Um, they might even have a burning or hot feeling. They will appear perfectly fine, but they are not perfectly fine because these myelin sheaths are being degraded in their brain and spinal cord. So they hate it. Most of these patients hate it when they can go to work, they feel like crap the whole day because of the um, myelin sheath degradation, 
and their boss, their coworkers will be like, hey, you look fine, like, you don't, you're not sick. But the patient themselves are very fatigued, they have this burning sensation all over their body, they have numbness and tingling, they have altered sensations, and it's really, really sad in terms of um, uh, having the patient in this progressive type of disease here. So, I'm sorry, did I say progressive? I think I did. <laughs> So, um, your patients with MS, mild, um, <laughs> um, multiple sclerosis, they'll have outbreaks and they'll have um, um, remission. So, it's not a progressive disease like ALS. It's not going to get progressively worse and worse and worse and worse, and then your patient's going to die. It's almost like Cushing's disease or uh, lupus, where things trigger, and that's why we get um, we can have outbreaks, almost like an asthma attack. But not don't think about it like <laughs> you know what I mean. It's intermission, right? Ebb and flow. So your body is going to attack itself and then lay off and attack itself. And there's certain triggers that we have to watch out for with patients with MS. So, some medications that we give for multiple sclerosis are interferons. Your body is going to attack itself at, um, at different periods throughout months, okay? It's not going to be a progressive disorder. So, we give your patient interferons, which interfere with your body attacking itself. So these interferons kind of get in the way and they help your body from attacking that myelin sheath. Um, you can also use an IVIG. And patients with MS know a lot about IVIG. IVIG is really just bait that we throw out. So your body's attacking itself at the myelin sheath. But when we give it IVIG, your body attacks that IVIG, and it's a very, very expensive drug. Usually you get it like every two, three months. And um, Medicare, Medi-Cal, and a lot of the insurance companies hate to get um, IVIG because it's so expensive. Um, you can also use Copaxil is another drug for MS. Copaxil, you can remember that, as it kind of packs the myelin sheaths themselves. They're amino acids that kind of coat a protective layer, help rebuild a little bit of the myelin sheath themselves. They're amino acids. Um, let's see here. You can use steroids, which brings down the inflammation. Not only do steroids like solimedrol bring down the inflammation, but steroids themselves help to decrease an immune response. So it's going to decrease your body from attacking itself. Uh, let's see if I missed anything. We can also use stool softeners to help your patient because this myelin sheath and uh, the different um, um, neurons in the body make it harder to transport impulses. Let's see. Oh, some goals for your patient is to keep a functional state. So good range of motion with your patients. Um, avoid exacerbations because it is an intermittent type of disease. Avoid stress that's going to push your body and increase that immune response. So any type of um, stress, like really, really aggravating type of you know, don't go on a marathon. Don't do like a tough mutter. Um, don't do like a CrossFit exercise routine that's really going to push your body into a lot of stress because that's going to increase an immune response and your body is going to try to attack itself at that point. So tell your patients to um, keep up with their medication regimen, avoid stress, as well as alternate their activity and rest periods for MS.